<laughs> so we're back for another haul video. Yes, it's an addiction. Who cares? It's a healthy addiction. You need to stay away from Books A Million bargain section. They have really good young adult. No. I think we pretty much bought all of them. Considering yes. we're going back again tomorrow. Yes. Yes. <laughs> for a few books that our Books A Million didn't have, we're going to another one. So um, who wants to start this time? I will. Okay, so what did you get? Okay, so I, um, uh, last week we were watching um, my sister's dogs while she was running a show, but we uh, went to go see Divergent, and we also, in between, we were also seeing Muppets, so in between we went to Books A Million, and I got Finding It by Cora Carmack. I am currently reading this book. I got Sacre Bleu by Christopher Moore. And then I got Fever by Laura De Stefano De Stefano Lauren. Lauren, sorry. And then I also got The Evolution of Mara Dyer by Michelle Hodkin. What'd you get this week? And then this week I got also by Lauren De Stefano. I got Wither, and then I got Sever. So completed a series. I got oh, I did get it. Oops. I got In Shadowed. I think it's book two. It's it is book. by Kelly Craig. It's the Nevermore series. I have the first one. If you want to read it. Okay. And then I got another second one, but this was originally what we went to go to Books A Million when First we went time, to their like bargain section. Months ago. It's Days of Blood and Starlight by Lainey Taylor, and it's in hardback, which is nice. It's a heavy book. It's a big book. It is a big book, and it was six bucks. I love the cover. And it's yeah, like perfect. Have you seen the one for Gods and Monsters? It's really cool. No. Too. <laughs> and then I was walking down an aisle and I saw this. It is Steampunk Poe. Steampunk Poe! And there is illustrations in here. <gasps> oh. You probably can't see it, but. Greedy! So there's that one. And then also on a steampunk kick. I have had this list on my Goodreads for a while. Um, I've read Lynn Vale before. I read her Darkened series. I haven't completed it, but I do own all of the books. Um, but um, Amy was going down one of the aisles, and I think it was a mystery, and she saw this, and she's like, oh, Berta, it's Lynn Vale. And I'm like, that's steampunk swipe. Um, so I have Disenchanted and Co. It's the first one. Company. And Co. And Company. Who cares? It says and Co. It's not that means company. company! Whatever. Yes, but they shortened it. So let's say and right. Co. <laughs> and then the second one of the Disenchanted and Co. novel Here's is the, hand. the Clockwork Wolf. I really like the cover. They are really super cute. You would like her There's a lot. There's like five books in the series, and then it has novellas. There's Everyone has novellas. It's a hey. way to keep us, keep us going. Yes. Keep us broke. Yes. <laughs> so that was my haul. <laughs> so today at Books A Million, I keep wanting to call it Barnes & Noble. <laughs> today I got um, The Vincent Brothers by Abby Glines. Now... I know this is the second one. I know the Vincent Boys is the first. Which I do not own. But I saw it for clearance for $3. I was like, yes. And I like his back. <laughs> he, looks, he looks good from behind, whoever he is. And then I got um, Poison Princess by Cressley Cole. Which is super pretty. Then I also got <laughs> Days of Blood and Starlight. Now, I don't own The Daughter of Smoke and Bone, but I did read it on my Kindle, so. And I really wanted this book because it's really pretty. Mm -hmm. Then I got um, Burn for Burn. Wow. Gen by Jenny Han and Siobhan Vivian. Sh yeah. <laughs> this is the first. I know that. And I know they had a cover change for the third one. It's a series? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <sighs> 
Then I bought, um, they had Cruel by Jennifer Alvin for, like, five dollars. Which I know this is a fairly new book. And there's a little bit of damage on the cover, which is probably why it was on clearance, but... That's okay. I don't care. It won't bother me. It's not super noticeable. I didn't even notice it until I got home. <laughs> In the store, I didn't see it. But it's just such a pretty book. It is a really pretty book. <laughs> then I also got Sever by Lauren DiStefano. Or DiStefano. I don't know. <laughs> I read the series on my Kindle, and I really, really loved it. So, And the covers are so pretty. <laughs> so I figured it would be a book that I would reread. So, just gotta get the first two. Then I got In Shadowed by Kelly Cray? Cray, Cray or Craig? I can't. Yeah. Probably Craig. I have no idea. But I have Nevermore. And I really, really liked it. It's been a few years since I read it. But uh, I was super excited to see this on clearance. Because I was like, yes, it's a book I actually have the first one of. It's <laughs> <laughs> like, yes, I'm buying that. But I think I'm going to have to reread Nevermore since it's been quite a few years. I got it, like, when it first came out. So I need to... I mean, I basically remember the story, but I want to refresh. Yeah. yeah. And then I got The Evolution of Mara Dyer by Michelle Hodkin. I have read uh, this in The Unbecoming Mara Dyer on my Kindle. And I loved it so much. Oh, my God. So I needed to own this. Yes, and it's a nice velvety yeah. cover. Well, that was my small haul compared to the other two. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I bought a lot of books, but I guess not. Yeah, you did. Okay, so I have a long haul. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Um, last week when we went to Books A Million, I got... Uh, Lauren Stefano's Fever. Now, I don't have the first one. I have read the first one on my um, tablet, on my Galaxy, Samsung Galaxy Tab 3. Mm -hmm. um, so I have read the first one. Stupid fly. Um, so then I got this one. And, uh, and I did also get Sever. I'm probably going to return this one to see if I get Fever. Um, and in hardcover, I would really like the hardcover, and then I'm going to see if I can find Wither in hardcover also. And then I got Unhinged, um, I love this cover, um, by A.G. Howard. Um, I read the first book, again, on my tablet. I want that one on hard, in hardcover too, so I'm really excited to read this one. I also got Finding It. I read Losing It on my tablet. Um, so next week we will be going to a book convention, author's convention, next week at UCF, University of Central Florida. And she will be there. Cora, uh, Cora Carmack will be there. <laughs> yay, yay, yay. So I'm going to get this one signed. Um, finish that one. I got Ready Player One by Ernest Klein. Um, started listening to the audiobook, loved it, had to get it. And then I also <laughs> trend <laughs> got the Evolution of Mara Dryer by Michelle Hodkin. Dyer. Yeah. Sorry. So uh, she said dryer. dryer. Yeah. <laughs> so that was last week. Now this week. I also got <laughs> the um, Disenchanted and Company. Whatever. <laughs> and A Clockwork Wolf by Lynn Vale. Now, I have read most of the Darkened series. I also have all of the books of her other series. I can't think of the name Is it of the it. The Lords of Darkened? No, no. It's the other one. It's she the has, other one. She writes under other. Um, she writes under other. Pseudonyms. No, it's the Linville. It says Linville. I know, but she she writes. She's got a lot of series. And then, because I had forgotten what books I bought last week, <laughs> I got fever again. <laughs> so this one is also going back. Yeah, I forgot that. I couldn't remember which one I picked up last week. So 
got that. And then I got Once in a Full Moon by Ellen Schre Schreiber. And then I got Stephanie Myers, The Host. I've listened to this on audiobook, and I've seen the movie. I'm excited to find out that she's writing a second one. So it's gonna be like three, I think. Cool, cool beans. I also got Jonathan Mayberry's Flesh and Bone. Um, I haven't read any of the others. So did you get something by him, Nick? No. I was thinking of getting that, but so I didn't. I. I knew it wasn't the first. Got it. Sorry. <laughs> Had an annoying fly here. One of those little gnat flies. And then I got Days of Blood and Starlight by Lonnie Taylor. I did read Daughter of Smoke and Bone. Thank you. Um, I did read Daughter of Smoke and Bone on my tablet. I want that one also, but I saw this, had to get it. And then I got the next book, The Warlock, of the Secrets of the Immortal Nicholas Flamel series. I've read the first four, maybe five. Is this number five in the series? There's like a whole bunch. In There's the a whole bunch in the series. I got the first like three or four from a girl at work. She was giving away her books because she was moving. So I got, I grabbed all of those. And then for my birthday last year, my sister got me the next one in the series. And this is the next one after that. So I got you the next one. Yeah. Oh, you did. Yes, you did. I got you Silence. You got Silence, which I still can't have. She in has it right That's there. okay. You have one of my books. So <laughs> yeah. Cool. And when I finish it, I will return it. <laughs> so I'll get around to that. That oh, is <laughs> that is my nice long lengthy haul including repeats. So there you go. Ready to read. We need to stop buying books. Yes. It's an but addiction. We're going to a book convention next weekend. It makes I don't think that will happen. That no. will happen this month. <laughs>